been amazing to see the, the progression of the event. Uh, and when we first started, I think there was maybe 30 teams. Um, and now last year we're up to 54 teams. Um, currently we're at 37. And uh, every year the event just seems to, uh, to grow and, and the atmosphere is great. Hi, buddy. It's, uh, it's an event where it's definitely the basketball community that comes out. Uh, of course, people that are involved with cystic fibrosis in the city come out to support it. But it's, it's like old home week. You come out, you see different people that you've either played with or played against or coached with or coached against. Now their kids are playing. Um, even different, well, we have a, two teams from Manitoba that are coming in for this year. We've got a team from Regina for the first time coming in this year. We have teams from out of town, uh, just locally around Saskatoon that are coming in. So it's great to see them uh, embracing our event, really seeing what the purpose of it is for. Yes, it's a basketball event, but our primary purpose, of course, is a, is a fundraiser to raise funds for um, care and, and research for uh, cystic fibrosis. It's, uh, yeah, it is a, it is a full-time job. We, uh, you know, I, I'll get home from work and uh, it's planning and preparing ahead of time, talking about schedules, who has to go to which practice or which game, as you know. Uh, but then it's okay, well, so we need to get this inhale treatment done at this time. Uh, we're gonna get a meal done. Uh, we'll get therapies done, breathing treatments done, either before or after the practice. Uh, fortunately enough, Dominic is old enough where he can do his airway clearance uh, on the go. Uh, he has a portable device that he can use to you know, after a soccer practice, after a basketball practice, he's starting his treatments and or having a snack to get those calories in. As long as um, Ben isn't in the vehicle. Right. That's the challenge <clears throat> when there's more than one person brosis. It, like, people with CF aren't supposed to be in close proximity to each other. Um, because of the bacteria they harbor in their lungs, by coughing or sneezing or doing their breathing treatments, they can share those lungs, those infections with someone else with CF. And so that's where it can get hard mm -hmm. is if one of us has both boys, those therapies don't take place in the vehicle. We wait till we get home and one of us will go with Dominic in his room to do his breathing treatments. And then hopefully one of the girls are around or someone else is around to hang with Ben. If well, right. And so it can get really tricky to make sure both boys therapies get done at a decent time so that they're not completely exhausted the next morning when they're pulled out of bed. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. And then we have grieving on top. Yeah. It's yeah, hard. It's, yeah. yeah, it was tough. Um, yeah, and I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia last September, which probably isn't surprising because <laughs> a disorder like that often comes after trauma and great amounts of stress. Um, so for all of us, it's uh, we do lots of laughing and joking as much as we can. Um, we don't talk about the negative things mm -hmm. about CF very often. Sean and I know they're there, but I don't, I don't think it's helpful um, most of the time to talk about it. Yeah. Some of the time we need to share, but yeah. I know it sounds cliche, but we are a thankful family. Yeah. Yeah.